Hello everyone, how are you? Your favorite photographer Akshay here and welcome to the basic photography series. In this video, we are going to be talking about stops of light, a term used in photography to describe the amount of light that enters the camera. As a photographer, you will hear this term a lot. You must have heard it as well and that might have left you confused, like increase the exposure by one stop or reduce the brightness by two stops of light. And you must be thinking, how much is this one stop of light? Let me describe it for you. A stop of light is measurement of the amount of light that enters the camera. Each stop of light either doubles or halves the amount of light that enters the camera, depending whether you are increasing or decreasing the exposure. Meaning, if you are increasing the exposure by one stop, the light in your photos or the exposure in your photos doubles. And if you are decreasing the exposure by one stop, the light in your photos halves. The stops of light are measured in the increments of 1, such as plus 1 or minus 1. Typically, these are adjusted by shutter speed, aperture and ISO. Now let's see some of the examples of stops of light. Going from f2.8 to f4 reduces the exposure by one stop. And if you are going from f2.8 to f2, you are increasing the exposure by one stop. Doubling the shutter speed from 50th of a second to 100th of a second reduces the amount of light by one stop. And vice versa, if you are going from 50th of a second to 25th of a second, the amount of light increases by one stop. Going from ISO 200 to 400 increases the amount of light in your photos by one stop. And if you are going from ISO 200 to 100, it reduces the amount of light in your photos by one stop. In most modern cameras, every click of the dial either to change the shutter speed or aperture increments or decrements one third stop of light. That means with the first click you change one third stop of light, with the second click you change two third stop of light and with the third click you change a full stop of light. Always remember the values of aperture, shutter speed or ISO doubles or halves with every three clicks of the dial. So there you have it, the explanation of stops of light in photography. I hope you understood what a stop of light is. I also mentor people. If you want to learn photography personally from me, you can send me an email. I will mention the email address in the description below. You can follow us on our Instagram, the handle is on the screen. And you can also follow me on my personal Instagram, the handle is again on the screen. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Ray Photography. I will see you guys in the next one.